You may have been following this issue in the media that Belgium is going to replace its F-16 fleet. Um, and we are, the United States is, uh, is proposing uh, the Lockheed Martin F-35, which is a, a, what they call a fifth generation plane, meaning it's more technologically advanced than any other plane of, of its kind. Um, just to give a little context to explain why we're doing this, um, we've had great success in working closely with defense partners like Belgium, as I said. Um, our development partners for the F-35 are other European uh, NATO founding members like uh, the UK, Norway, the Netherlands, Denmark, Italy, uh, and we're proud that the F-35 is becoming a European standard aircraft and, and other European countries are, are considering it as well, including Germany and Spain. Um, the economies of scale for the F-35 are getting better uh, as more and more countries order the F-35, the price becomes less and less as the production line becomes more efficient. Um, there's a lot of talk about the benefits to um, the next, for what it means for Belgium-based industry, uh, Belgium's choice for its next aircraft. Um, Belgium has a very, very strong aerospace uh, sector, largely because of the development work during the F-16 era. Um, I was at the Paris Air Show uh, last summer and met the Belgian exhibitors at the uh, Belgian Pavilion, um, which was amazing. an amazing group of high-tech companies involved in material science, um, high-tech, uh, aerospace, uh, all kind of came out of that original partnership. So I think that um, you know, the aerospace sector in Belgium is very, very competitive to get the kind of business uh, contracts to support the F-35 fleet in the future. Uh, we've even seen that with the Belgian company ASCO announcing that they're part of the global supply chain. 